everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope that you are having a lovely afternoon. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you, I just need to get here, I'm gonna show you a really super easy pillow project that um, is really cute, and it's one of the brand new kits that Magnolia has just released, and if you have never stenciled or used ink before, um, this is a great way to get started. So I'm just pushing this aside. Okay, so um, raise your hand or say something in the comments if you're like me and you have at least 30 pillows for your sofa that you are constantly switching in and out. Well, that is totally me. I like to change them for every season and then in between, I kind of like to have something that is um, that is just generic. But one of my favorite pillows are these lumber pillows. Aren't they nice? I got the inside at Hobby Lobby. Um, so what we're good, this is what was on my couch right now, and this is what is showing. This stencil is not available anymore. But this is the, just the idea of the pillow. So I have a ton of the the square ones, and then I have three or four of the lumber pillows. And we're gonna be making one more today with the new kit that has Welcome, and it has Let's Stay Home on it. Um, it includes a little uh, pouch of ink, the pillow, um, the pillow cover, and a squeegee so it's a really nice deal and i did put a link down here anyways okay so i want to show you how to do this and give you a few tips and also i wanted to let you know that if you're one of those people that's been asking me when is the black ink from magnolia coming back in stock um it is back in stock now so if you've been wanting it for a while you might want to grab it i just can't figure out how to get myself in the middle of the video um Okay, so before I came live, I did one side of this so that I could show you how you can do two sides and then you have a choice to flip it around. And I wanna talk also about other embellishments that you could do on it. So before I came live, I stenciled, let's stay home on this side. Using ink, it took no time at all. <laughs> These stencils are so easy to work with. Um, you just lay it down and put your ink on it and then let it dry. And then I will heat set it with a hot iron and it'll be all good to go. Um, and these can be embellished in a lot of different ways. Like you could put something, you could put it down lower or up higher or off to the side and use another stencil with some of the other some of the black ink that comes in the pouch to do something else on it, like I did with this one. This one says hallelujah, and I, I made this one for Christmas time. And this side has some snowflakes, and this side has one of the Christmas trees. I didn't do anything on this one, but you get the idea that you can um, still embellish even more. Another cute thing that you can do is to put a, a ribbon right down here, like tie a bow, a pretty black and white check bow or something and put it right here or you put it right above um, so this is a, a really nice pillow form and it could go in just about any color decor all right so I'm going to show you how to do this one. Oh, and I did want to show you a couple other things before I do that um, the magnolia ink in case you've been waiting for it um, it looks like this it has a white top it is available again in black and they have white right now um you can make tea towels and this is an example of a tea towel that i made for valentine's day this has a combination of two colors but one of them is black and i embellished that with a little ribbon at the bottom you can make things like these zipper pouches which i'm gonna be blessing two people with these come Monday 
uh, and I'll share all the information about that with you in a separate post. Um, you can make t-shirts, you can make tote bags, um, there's just a ton of, you can make banners, there's all kinds of things that you can do with ink. And this stuff also can be used on ceramics and glass. The only thing I need to um, make sure you understand is that it has to be heat set to be permanent. So on t-shirts, you're going to just wait for the ink to soak into the fabric and dry. And then you're just gonna put your iron on cotton, um, put something in between the thing you want to be heat set and your iron, like a thin tea towel or a piece of parchment paper, and you're just gonna go over it for three or four minutes, and then it is washable. Not that you would wash a pillow form like this, but a t-shirt, a tote bag, a tea towel, yeah, all those things you would probably want to wash at some point. Um, with the ceramics and glass, you essentially put this on using a stencil, then you let it dry, and you put it in a cool oven. Turn your oven on to 300, 350. Um, let your pieces sit on a cookie sheet from the cool oven until it heats up, and then leave it in there half an hour, or longer if you want and then turn your oven off and let it cool down with the oven. It's a cinch, and that's how you make it permanent. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And if the comments are in your way here, oh, thank you for sprinkling, Iris, I appreciate that. I didn't say any of my normal stuff. Um, if the comments here are in your way, you can swipe them either to the side or up or down, depending on what kind of a device you're watching this on. So the kit that I'm talking about here comes with the word welcome and let's stay home and the pillow form, the lumber pillow form, and a little packet of ink and a squeegee, which is basically everything you need. So when you're stenciling on fabric, you don't need to fuzz the green stencils because we fuzz, green, we fuzz the green stencils on fabric basically. So it would not make a lot of sense to fuzz them and then put them on fabric. I'm gonna get my ruler because I want this to be sort of centered. And the other thing I want to tell you is to make sure that the zipper is on the bottom so that it's, you know, not visible. Well, that's pretty darn close. Okay, so to remember where I am, I'm just gonna lay my ruler right here. And I'll get this on here. Right. or straight-ish. And then you're just going to um, really press it into your fabric. One of the most common questions that I get from people is, what is the difference between chalk paste and ink? Ink is for fabric and ceramics, and it must be heat set. Chalk paste can be used on pretty much everything else. Um, you can use chalk paste on a banner or something like this if you want, because it won't be handled. Nobody's gonna sit down on it or wear it or need to wash it, but Generally speaking, something like a pillow, a tea towel, a, um, this is not straight, a pillow, a, well, good enough, a pillow, a tea towel, a t-shirt, those things need ink. And everything else is going to use chalk paste. And you can, the benefit of chalk paste is that it's not permanent, but you can make it permanent, not on fabric though, um, by using a clear matte spray sealer. And I just have mine out that looks like this. This is Krylon brand, oh, no, this is Rust-Oleum. I've used all kinds of different brands. It's just a, a clear matte sealer from Walmart. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And you would just wait if you're using chalk paste until it's dry and then spray a couple coats of that on it. Okay, so let's open this up. And because this is a big area, let me just out of the way here.
because um, there's you know big pieces on this stencil, I'm going to use one of these little uh, stirs that, that is something that you can get from Magnolia to put a couple of globs of ink on here. So it's just there and handy. And if there's any that we don't need when we're done, we can put it right back into the pot. Um, okay, so and I'm just going to take a squeegee. This is so easy. And I'm literally just pushing the ink through the holes on my stencil. I'm afraid to tell you <laughs> to be careful that you stay inside the area of the stencil because every time I do that on a live, I mess up <laughs> and end up going outside of the stencil. But anyways, you do want to do that because it would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to get the black ink out of this cream colored pillow uh, cover if you did a blob outside, if that makes any sense. So can you see how easy this is? I mean, seriously. I love these kind of projects. Um, so like I was saying at the start of this video, if you are new, I think I'm gonna have too much, new to stenciling, um, you should try it with one of the DIY kits. And I did put a link down here with some little purple hearts and a little artist looking um, caricature or meme or whatever you call those guys. Um, yeah, look at the kits because that it, you get everything you need to do a project. And it's a great first way to try stenciling. And there's some great choices, so. Um, they don't all involve ink. Some of them have chalk paste in them. Uh, and the pouches have quite a bit in them, so most likely you'll have enough left over to do some other projects. Okay, so here's what we have. And I'm just going to pull up a corner and peek. So far it looks good. When you're stenciling on fabric with ink, the hardest thing is to resist the temptation to keep going over and over and over it. Look how good that looks. And when you go over and over and over something, that is when you risk going outside of the lines or pushing too much of the ink through the holes on the stencil. Oh, and I do see one little spot. Oh no, it was on the end. What am I doing? I'm gonna end up with this all over my hands. Darn it. Perfect, okay, let me throw this in the water that I have over here, ready to go. So it can soak until I can get it to my sink. And let me clean off my hands. Ooh. And as soon as I don't have black fingers, I'll pick it up and show you. Now, your stencil, after using black ink, it's going to have a little ghosting sort of around it, um, but that won't affect your the use of it or anything. They just do get stained. Um, ink especially stains the stencils. Someday, if you have a stencil that you really, really love, it might look like that Mandela lace stencil that I'm always showing that looks so horrible. Anyways, isn't that cute? So welcome on this side. Let's stay home on the other. You can add um, other stencils to the sides of it if you want. It's totally up to you. I did wanna mention that I opened it up before I started and I put a layer of paper towels inside of it just in case it bled at all um, so that it wouldn't go through to the other side. But well, there's a, t a few teeny little areas on this one because there's so much ink on here that it did go through, and I'm glad I have that paper towel in there. Anyways, do you guys have any questions? Isn't this just a, a classic, um, nice pillow? The quality of these is great. Um, so, and they have a, a matching pillow that's um, 18 by 18 or 
20 by 20, it's square, same fabric, same color, and you get a set of two of those. So I think every sofa needs two big square pillows and one lumber pillow. If not four big pillows and one lumber pillow. Oh, thank you, Iris. It does look pretty cool. Okie dokie. Well, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you right now. Um, if you've been wanting ink, the black ink and the white ink are in stock. So grab it while they have it. Um, if you haven't done a project before and you want to try something, I really suggest the DIY kits, which I put a link to those down here. I'll drop a few links through the comments just to my website too, in case you want to look at ink or stencils or anything else. Um, and I'm going to hop off now and read all of your comments. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you want to see Christ and Crafting and you know, all my other posts, my Pinterest posts and everything else. Um, you can do this or this or say something in the comments and look up above to see if you've liked and followed DIY Dreaming. That's what Facebook wants to know when they're deciding whether they should serve you my videos. And I hope you will um, watch Christ in Crafting on Sunday because I have a really good project and it's just going to um, be a great day. Alrighty, have a good rest of your Friday or whatever day it might be if you're watching this on replay. And um, look in the comments later for pictures of this pillow all stuffed and fluffed on my sofa. Um, I might jazz it up a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, and then look at, look at DIY Dreaming also for pictures of the projects that we've had today. And I will post the details about that. Um, that deal that I'm doing where I'm going to bless two people on Monday, February 1st with two little packages of black and white projects and doodads for me. So I'll share what, what you need to do to be, to have your name put in my hat in a separate email or separate post. Sorry. Anyways, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.